No, I'm afraid she isn't. We haven't seen Dr. Nodera in several days. We don't know. Last time we saw her, she wasn't acting very well. Mm. No, I can't comment on that. Let, let me connect you to her floor. Perhaps they can be more help. Well done, Miss Potter. Kowalinski, are you sure you're going to be okay with all this? Oh, that's the elevator. Here they come. Places, everyone. You must be Dr. Ferguson. Dr. Berg, very nice to meet you. Welcome to Pine Valley Medical. I would like you to meet my nurse, Inga Kraus. I could not do what I do without her. Inga Kraus, welcome. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, I'm sure. I would like you to meet Nurse Kowalinski and Miss Potter. Lovely to meet you. Well, please, let me take your coat. Oh, thank you. Um... I so look forward to sharing our techniques with you all. And maybe my English will improve a little too. <laughs> Ooh, it's just chilly in here. Ah, uh, Dr. Ferguson prefers it that way. Says we stay alert. <laughs> well, Dr. Berg and Nurse Krauss are here all the way from Harborview Medical. They're here with the SHARE program. Now, the SHARE program is where Pine Valley exchanges nurses and doctors from different hospitals and spends the afternoon sharing different techniques and ideas with one another. It's proven to be quite successful. Wonderful. Well, you all are going to have to spend the next 45 minutes without me because I must get this report done. Well, in that case, I'll show Nurse Krauss how we schedule our procedures and operations for the week. Nurse Kavalinsky, why don't you show Dr. Berg around? Hmm. Uh, Miss Potter, please hold my calls and I'll see all of you at lunchtime. Of course, Doctor. You have beautiful hospital. Ah, success is nothing more than a few simple discipline practices every day. Dr. Ferguson, oh, I like! <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> These are all of Dr. Ferguson's procedures and operations for this week. Each color represents the urgency in which it will be performed and is scheduled accordingly. Wow, such a large board. It's very good. At Harborview, we are given a schedule once a week, and you better not lose it. <laughs> hmm. uh, let me go and show you the filing system. Come along now. Meet me at Miss Potter's desk, two minutes before 12. Now, let me show you where the garbage incinerator is. Incinerator? I don't have any lipstick on. You don't need the lipstick. You're right. Ferguson. Guten Morgen, Commander. Today's elimination will be one of the most important assignments that you will ever be asked to be a party of. Germany's future is in your hands, Ferguson. Commander, I assure you, you have picked the right person. I certainly hope so, Ferguson. Yes, Commander. Former agents Berg and Klaus have recently defected to the Soviet Union. In the past several months, we have received information telling us that they both have infiltrated back into Germany, becoming the number one nuisance on my list. Commander, I shall find both of them. Ferguson, this is not going to be easy. 
They both recently graduated from our Academy of Assassination here in Hamburg. One of your agents, Kavalinsky, knows one of the defectors quite well. It appears they do both graduated from the Academy at the same time. And together, they have plans to be married. It seems his plans changed. And after graduating, he defected to Russia, taking our agent Klaus with him. Humiliating, to say the least, for Kavalinsky. Don't you worry, Commander. I shall find the both of them. You won't. They found you. They will both be arriving at Pine Valley Hospital in two hours, disguised as a doctor and his nurse. Their sole purpose is to eliminate you, Ferguson, and Miss Trotter. <laughs> he doesn't know that his ex-lover will be there. <laughs> For that reason, I would like to assign the assassination of Agent Burke to Kavalansky. Remember, no noise and no mess. This mission will be completed by noon today. I want Odair's elimination report. Finished by noon as well. Don't let me down, Fergus. Don't worry, Commander. Guten Morgen, Miss Potter. Guten Morgen, Captain. Guten Morgen, Gordon. Good morning, Potter. Das ist die heutige Aufgabe. Bitte weisen Sie mir Agent Berg zu. Nein. Du musst du Nummer 2 Elimination Kraus. Das nächste Mal wolle ich. Außerdem hast du die Glatze mal für Dr. Order entschieden. Ich denke, Kavalinski wird das unschätzen versen. Ich kenne. Guten Morgen, Kavalinski. Guten Morgen. Das ist deine Aufgabe heute. Wird das ein Problem sein? Welcome now, Dr. Berg. I will see you at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Agent, I just spoke with this the commander. And today's assignment is of the utmost importance. Do we understand each other? Miss Potter, you are to take out Nurse Kraus at exactly 11.57 a.m. There will be no noise. There will be no mess. There will be no mistakes. Nurse Kavalinsky, your job is to exterminate Dr. Berg. He is a huge German security risk, and you will exterminate him at exactly and precisely 12 p.m. Do you understand? 
There will be no noise. There will be no mess. There will be no mistakes. For that reason, give me your weapons. Give me your weapons. So I can see their faces before I kill them. Yeah. Guten Morgen, danke. Your weapon, Kavalinski, is the poisonous Lippenstick. <laughs> Nein, I do not want to kiss him. Oh, I do not remember asking you what you wanted. I will do it. Nein, I will do it. Now synchronize our watches to exactly 11.58. Ein, zwei, drei. Make no mistakes. Pine Valley Medical? No, I'm sorry, Miss Potter's not available. Would you like me to take a message? Thank you. Deliver it for Dr. Ferguson. Oh, yes. The new medical journal. Dr. Ferguson says it saves lives. Okay, uh, if you want to sign right there. Yes. And uh, if there is any way I can uh, schedule a pickup for Saturday. I'm sorry? You know, a pickup, you know. I don't think so. Oh, please, please don't. Don't Maybe. touch me. Please. I'm warning you. Come on. Last chance. Come on. Nine, ah! nine, nine. Ah! Your hands are ah. really soft, too. Oh, your hands are soft, too, too. Doctor, do you know where the x-ray department is? Well, yes, the x-ray department's directly below us, two floors. Oh, thank you. Why does everybody keep coming to this floor looking for the x-ray department? Dr. Odera in several days. We don't know. Last time we saw her, she wasn't acting very well. Mm. No, I can't comment on that. Let, let me connect you to her floor. Perhaps they can be more help. Well done, Ms. Potter. Kowalinski, are you sure you're going to be okay with all this? Oh, that's the elevator. Here they come. Places, everyone. You must be Dr. Ferguson. Dr. Berg, very nice to meet you. Welcome to Pine Valley Medical. I would like you to meet my nurse, Inga Kraus. I could not do what I do without her. Inga Kraus, welcome. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, I'm sure. I would like you to meet Nurse Kavalinsky and Miss Potter. Lovely to meet you. Well, please, let me take your coat. Oh, thank you. Um, I so look forward to sharing our techniques with you all. And maybe my English will improve a little, too. <laughs> Ooh, it's just chilly in here. Ah, uh, Dr. Ferguson prefers it that way. Says we stay alert. <laughs> well, Dr. Berg and Nurse Kraus are here all the way from Harborview Medical. They're here with the SHARE program. Now, the SHARE program is where Pine Valley exchanges nurses and doctors from different hospitals and spends the afternoon sharing different techniques and ideas with one another. It's proven to be quite successful. Wonderful. Well, you all are going to have to spend the next 45 minutes without me because I must get this report done. Well, in that case, I'll show Nurse Kraus how we schedule our procedures and operations for the week. Nurse Kavalinsky, why don't you show Dr. Berg around? Hmm. Uh, Miss Potter, please hold my calls, and I'll see all of you at lunchtime. Of course, Doctor.
you have beautiful hospital. Shut up. Ah, success is nothing more than a few simple discipline practices every day. Dr. Ferguson, oh, I like! <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> These are all of Dr. Ferguson's procedures and operations for this week. Each color represents the urgency in which it will be performed and is scheduled accordingly. Wow, such a large board. It's very good. At Harborview, we are given a schedule once a week and you better not louse it. <laughs> hmm. uh, let me go and show you the filing system. Come along now. You sure did not seem too happy to see me there? You've got to be kidding me. You vanished. And when you vanished, I cleared you from my mind. You do not exist to me. Forgive me, I was under so much pressure. I had to leave. Pressure? That's the first thing they teach us to deal with, that's a school. All the dreams, all the plans we had, you disappeared. You do not exist to me, and you never will. We should get going. I have to do my rounds before lunch. Give me another chance. I am soldier now. I am getting five million US dollars for the Ferguson Potter campaign. I still have feelings for you. And I can see in your eyes you have them for me. Are you completely out of your mind? I have the money in the car. Help me and it is ours. We can move back to Germany. We can follow our dreams. You have the money here? At the hospital? Yes. I do still love you. Meet me at Miss Potter's desk two minutes before 12 and I will help you. And don't forget the money. Okay, now come now, let me show you where the garbage incinerator is. Incinerator? Miss Potter, how's everything going with Nurse Krause? Well, I've just shown Nurse Krause the incinerator. Oh, very good. She did mention she was a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Krause! Krause! Go. Go. Where, where's Krause? I believe she just went to the administrative office to sign a form. She should be back shortly. Something is wrong. Where's Kavalinsky? I need to speak with Dr. Ferguson. I'll be right back. Something is wrong. Klaus is missing. Do you have some money? 
The money is right here. Show me some money. I don't have any lipstick on. You don't need the lipstick. You're right. I don't. Yeah, I want to find out who's going to buy me another medical journal. It's on me. You know that ought to take care of it. Let's go have some lunch. Sure.